What if you could sit down with your future self, say 10 or 20 years from now, what advice would they give you? I've picked up some valuable lessons along the way, and these insights could completely change the course of your 20s. Some of them might surprise you, while others may confirm what you've already been thinking. Either way, you'll want to hear all of them. Your 20s are like this big, complex game where every move you make sort of sets the stage for your future. It's not just about your career or relationships, it's about figuring out who you are and what you want. And let me tell you, the decisions you make now, they're going to echo through the next couple decades of your life. So here's the deal. I'm going to share some wisdom from your future self. Some of this stuff might seem counterintuitive, but trust me, it's the kind of insight that could save you years of trial and error. We're talking about life-changing revelations that could completely reshape your path. Are you ready to see your 20s in a whole new light? All right, let's dive into those life-changing revelations. You know how everyone talks about climbing the ladder of success? Well, what if I told you that most people are climbing the wrong mountain altogether? There's a secret to finding true fulfillment in your 20s, and it's not what society's been telling you. It's all about self-awareness and authenticity. These aren't just buzzwords. They're the foundation of making decisions that actually align with who you are. Think about it. How can you make choices that are right for you if you don't really know yourself? Now here's where it gets interesting. We often hear about climbing the corporate ladder or reaching certain milestones by a specific age. But what if the real goal isn't to climb the fastest or reach the top first? What if it's about making sure you're on the right mountain in the first place? This concept of climbing the right mountain is crucial. It's about finding joy in the journey, not just fixating on the destination. You might be progressing slowly, but if you're moving in a direction that brings you genuine happiness, you're already winning. Here's a hard truth. No one is coming to save you. Sounds harsh, right? But it's actually empowering. It means you're the hero of your own story. You have the power to take responsibility for your life, your decisions, and your actions. It's not about waiting for the perfect opportunity or for someone to hand you success on a silver platter. It's about creating those opportunities yourself. So how do you develop this self-awareness? It's not something that happens overnight. It's a daily practice. Try journaling, mindfulness exercises, or regular self-assessment. These habits can help you gain insights into your behaviors and motivations. It's like peeling back the layers of an onion. Each day, you understand yourself a little bit better. And here's the real kicker. As you discover more about yourself, you start making choices that are more fulfilling. You align your actions with your true desires and goals. Suddenly, you're not just going through the motions or following a path someone else laid out for you. You're creating a life that feels authentic and purposeful. Remember, how you spend your days is how you spend your life. It's not about making grand gestures or dramatic changes. It's about the small, consistent actions you take every day. Are these actions moving you towards your goals? Are they in line with your values? These are the questions you need to ask yourself. Here's another thing, not everyone will like you and that's okay. Living authentically means you'll ruffle some feathers, but would you rather be liked by everyone for being someone you're not or be respected by those who matter for being your true self? You were born with unique gifts and talents. And it's life's greatest adventure to discover what these are. This journey of self-discovery isn't just some feel-good exercise. It's the key to unlocking a life that feels genuinely yours. So you've discovered your unique talents and purpose? Great. But have you ever wondered why some people seem to thrive under pressure while others crumble? The secret lies in how they approach life's inevitable challenges. Your 20s are like this endless series of tests, each one designed to push you out of your comfort zone. It's not about avoiding these challenges. It's about learning how to face them head on. Here's the thing about personal growth. It doesn't happen when you're comfortable. It happens when you're stretched, when you're pushed to your limits. That's where the real magic happens. Think about it like this. Every time you face a challenge, you're building a sort of mental muscle. The more you exercise it, the stronger it gets. Now let's talk about this idea of bias to action. It's not just some fancy phrase, it's a mindset that can completely change how you approach life. See, a lot of people get stuck in this cycle of overthinking, planning, and never actually doing. But here's the truth, clarity comes from action, not thought. You don't need to have everything figured out before you start. In fact, most of the time, you can't figure things out until you start. This is where taking risks comes in. I know, I know, risks are scary, but here's something to remember. The only real failure in life is never trying. Most success stories you hear about, they're not about people who got it right on the first try. They're about people who failed, learned, and kept going. It's like this quote I came across. To become a success story, you must be willing to look stupid and like a beginner for a long time before you start getting things right. Now let's talk about resilience. This is your secret weapon in your 20s. Life's gonna throw curveballs at you. That's just how it goes. But resilience, that's what helps you bounce back. It's not about avoiding difficulties, it's about understanding that these challenges can actually accelerate your growth. There's this beautiful quote that really captures this. If you feel like you are losing everything, remember this. 
Trees lose their leaves every year, yet they still stand tall, waiting for better days to come. Here's another crucial piece of advice. Consistency and patience are key. We live in this world of instant gratification, where everyone's looking for quick fixes and overnight success. But the truth is, extraordinary results come from repeating ordinary actions over an extraordinary amount of time. It's not sexy, it's not exciting, but it works. You know what else works? Taking action. There's this idea that you need to have everything figured out before you make a move. But that's not how life works. You don't have to have it all figured out in order to move forward. In fact, the more you do, the clearer things become. It's like this quote says, The tougher the times, the more clarity you get about what really matters and what doesn't. Now here's something that might surprise you. The pain of doing something with your life is always less than the pain of doing nothing. Yeah, putting yourself out there, taking risks, facing challenges, it's all uncomfortable. But you know what's even more uncomfortable? Looking back years from now and wondering, what if? You know how we often talk about living in the moment? Well, what if the real secret to conquering your 20s lies in understanding your 40-year-old self? There's a hidden advantage in thinking long-term that most people overlook, and it's reshaping how successful individuals approach their daily decisions. Let's talk about this concept of long-term thinking. It's not just about setting goals for the future, it's about understanding how your current actions shape that future. Every choice you make today is like a building block for the life you'll have in 20 years. It's sort of like playing chess, you know? You're not just thinking about your next move, you're planning several moves ahead. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Building meaningful relationships is crucial for long-term success. And I'm not just talking about professional networking, although that's important too. I'm talking about choosing your life partner wisely. This decision can significantly impact your journey. Think about it like this. A solid partnership can enhance your entire life experience. As one successful individual put it, my success is our success. Her success is our success. Let's shift gears and talk about something that might not seem exciting, but is absolutely critical. Financial management. Creating habits like saving at least 10% of your income can lead to long-term security. It's not about becoming a millionaire overnight, it's about consistently investing in your future self. There's this interesting perspective I came across. The more money that you're able to see in your bank, the more secure you're going to feel overall. But here's the thing, it's not just about money, it's about aligning your current actions with your future goals. This alignment is what leads to real fulfillment. There's this powerful quote that really captures this idea. If you did the work that you are currently avoiding, you would have the results that you want. It's about taking responsibility for your future right now. This brings us to an important concept, acting from your future, not your past. It's about making intentional choices that align with your future aspirations. It's like you're constantly having a conversation with your future self, asking, will this decision get me closer to where I want to be? Now let's talk about learning and growth. There's this interesting 100-hour rule which states that if you spend 100 hours a year deepening your knowledge in any discipline, you'll be better than 95% of the world in that area. That's pretty mind-blowing when you think about it. It's not about becoming an overnight expert, it's about consistent dedicated learning over time. Your social circle plays a huge role in your journey too. There's this idea that the fastest way to make meaningful progress in any area of your life is to design an environment around you that makes it impossible not to succeed. It's about surrounding yourself with people who inspire you, challenge you, and support your growth. Living intentionally and with gratitude is another key aspect of long-term success. It's not just about achieving goals, it's about appreciating the journey. There's this powerful perspective. If you can't be grateful for what you currently have, you will never have enough. It's about finding joy in the process, not just the end result. So you've got all these insights now, right? The real power comes from actually using them. It's like, you know how in games you level up by gaining experience? Well, this is kind of the same thing. Every time you apply one of these lessons, you're leveling up in real life. Here's the deal. You're the main character in your own story. No one else is gonna write it for you. It's up to you to take these lessons and turn them into action. Remember, extraordinary results come from repeating ordinary actions over an unordinary amount of time. It's not about making some huge dramatic change overnight. It's about those small, consistent steps. And hey, it's never too late to start. You're the architect of your own destiny. Your thoughts and actions are shaping your future right now. So why not make them count?